Okay, I'm Jack Guardside, <laughs> and I'm threading a bobbin, getting ready to tie a fly that is a, a fly that can be easily tied in just a few minutes with only six or seven turns of thread. I've already put three on, and I'm going to take another four. I'm going to take some of this secret stuff, and we'll make a sand eel. Uh, okay. Uh, we can make it as thick or as thin as we want, but I'm going to make it like this. There's my, there's my fourth turn of thread. <laughs> I'm going to pull this down under. Bring that back. And take a fifth turn of thread on top. And that's it. Now, if somebody will get me a, a package of that secret stuff, olive. Olive. It has to be olive. Yeah, just one. That'd be great. <clears throat> I'm going to take a few more turns of thread than I thought. I could just to make this a little fancier. We'll put an olive top on it. Okay, there's a sixth turn of thread. And a seventh and an eighth. I could finish it off there, but I'm going to put a nice little whip finish on it. We'll call it 10 turns. Cheating a little bit. It's only because I put a little extra on top. <laughs> Comb it out. Get rid of some of the excess. Make sure the thread is equally, I mean the material is equally distributed all the way around the hook. Like so. Take a drop or two of head cement. Not just ordinary head cement, but any head cement that can be thinned with acetone. It's the acetone that's actually melting this material. And when the material hardens, it'll harden as hard as epoxy, and then I can shape it any way I want. I'm gonna let it sit for about eight seconds. It takes that long for it to start hardening again. While I do that, I take a little sip of Coca-Cola or ginger ale and wet my whistle. If I were to touch this with my bare fingers, they would stick to the material. So, whoops. I can take a little nose oil, corner of my nose or behind my ears, and do that. Or in the wintertime, your skin is a little dry and you don't have enough, sometimes don't have enough oil little lip gloss petroleum jelly, or in this case, Cloverine brand salve. I used to sell this when I was a kid, door to door, <laughs> with genuine reproductions of the Lord's Supper and Blue Boy, Gainsborough's Blue Boy. I've had that almost 50 years. Just a wee bit, just a wee bit will do. Now I can shape it any way I want. Get a really nice sand eel shape. Let it harden, and then I paint my little eyes on it, and. We have a fly. When I comb it out, it will look just like a sand eel. Just, just seven or eight turns of thread, maybe ten. It's a, um, a secret sand eel tied with my special secret stuff. <laughs> it's really no secret. It's just 100% polyester. That's the secret. Nobody knows it. <laughs>